Yes, amazing, delicious. I just got back probably an hour ago from Geylang Bazaar. It is my first time there and I went with my friend Chris and we basically just did like a whole food tour. There were so many things from like fries to biryani to... They also had Tanghulu. Not a big fan of it. I am not so much of a sweet tooth, but I've always seen videos of people crunching into the fruits and it looked really satisfying to eat. I don't think I would get it ever again. I guess this is also time for a little life update. I feel really bad of dropping off the face of the earth after I posted my coming back to YouTube video. There were a lot of things happening in my life that sort of rid me of any capacity to even want to film or edit videos. I'm just gonna give you a TLDR. I am finally fun employed. This is not what I envisioned in my 2024 vision board. I feel like I made the right choice because now I really got to pace myself and I have been spending a good amount of time doing the things that I've been wanting to do so getting my workout routine in check and just catching up with people in my life and catching up with myself and revisiting any other hobbies or activities that I haven't had the capacity to do because I was so burnt out from work and I want to take you guys along with me Oh my god, oh my goodness. I was recording without sound the entire time I was talking and doing my skincare and makeup. Anyways, I'm going to my Pilates class later today at 2 p.m. I also bought a new workout set. I don't like how the top is like a tank top situation because it kind of makes me look like um, a 45 year old mom in a very unsexy way and I kind of made it cropped like this I basically just stuffed whatever extra fabric that I don't want under the linings of the bra and I went to my first bin class last week and let me tell you go at your own risk go at your own peril because that was intense okay especially if you're a beginner I feel like it's really heavy on your body it killed me it killed me and it's also very dangerous to go to a spin class by the way because you can actually accidentally tear something down there anyways a really weird angle but I got a backpack 
I saw that Editor's Market were releasing their line of backpacks. It's in the shade chocolate. I decided to get brown because I feel like that goes with a lot of my outfits. They have like a little laptop compartment right here. I've been wanting to get backpacks that look really chic because I'm really trying to find a backpack that doesn't make me look like a secondary school girl. Kind of like that Gen Sport aesthetic. No hate on Gen Sport though. I think they were really good for its time. Look at that. That is so cute. Apparently it fits a 13 inch laptop which is perfect because I would never carry a laptop that's bigger than that. Can't wait to bring this out though. Also if you can hear the rain in the background just cause it is raining. I'm going out to my second bazaar. Actually it's not my second bazaar, it's my second time going to the same bazaar. I'm very excited, I'm just not excited to go out in this weather. Hello, we got a mic this time. I, I actually realized that I haven't been using a mic for the entirety of this vlog. I'm very sorry about that. Right now, I feel like things have been going a lot more smoothly. Obviously, when you're not at your job anymore and you don't really have a lot to do and you have a lot of free time in your hands, you're not going to feel as much pressure because you're no longer in that routine that gives you a lot of pressure. I feel like I couldn't have made a better decision to quit my job. It wasn't in my plan to quit not even a year in to my first full-time job. I don't think it is normal to spiral every two to three days because typically when i do spiral into a really really bad bad depression like that happens every like once in a while i would say that i was dealing with a very severe burnout and it just led my mind into the worst places possible and i'm not going to go into any details because again I don't want this vlog to be very heavy I just didn't really give myself enough time and space to have the opportunity to be kinder to myself and I feel like I had to keep living up to everyone else's expectations and that's not healthy at all <laughs> I started neglecting a lot of like my self-care routine because all I wanted to do was to sleep. I wanted to rest and it's gotten so bad where like even if I was working from home, I would be so exhausted, like mentally exhausted to the point of physical exhaustion. So I would sleep after I would have dinner. Like I haven't even gotten ready for bed yet. And then I'll wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. and realize that, oh, actually I haven't even like showered, I haven't even done my skincare and this kept going for like a couple of months or so and it's just really really bad <laughs> my cat just came in, hello thank you for disrupting my vlog okay so yeah I just um had to quit for other reasons like maybe there was a workplace incompatibility maybe there was also misaligned expectations from my supervisor and myself i feel like i've done my best to adapt as much as i can but i feel like it's come to the point where it's not even me adapting it's just me compromising myself and i don't think that's what a compatible workplace culture should 
do it to you. I also owe it to myself to regain my sanity. And I decided to take maybe two to three months worth of a break before I get back out there. And, you know, it gives me plenty of time to really think about what I want to do career-wise. But lately, I have just been getting back into the routine. Working out was definitely one of the main priorities that is also recommended by my therapist because I was opening up to her about how I feel like I couldn't really be present and that I have dealt with a lot of brain fog and I still feel like I'm living on survival mode. And as much as I hate to say it, but the boomers, not my therapist, are probably right. Like, you know, when you're depressed and then they tell you to like go out for a walk, go for a jog, do a star jump. And you're like, what the fuck? You have no idea of how to regulate depression at all. You kind of practice being present when you work out because you have no choice but to focus on how exhausted your body feels let me tell you being employed full-time really takes up so much of your capacity like i i get it now why people like they just want to go home and shut off their brains and scroll on tiktok for the next five hours until they fall asleep i want to be able to use this time wisely and I'm actually really content with the way things are in my life right now. Anyways, everything is still in the process. And let's normalize that. Let's normalize just figuring your shit out. I'm only 25, turning 26 this year. So technically, I'm kind of like a five-year-old adult. If you put it in that perspective, I feel like life is a lot more forgivable to go through as an adult. I'm really happy to say that I'm able to finally recalibrate myself and to finally feel like I'm doing things for me and not in a self-conceited way, but more of a self-deserving way because you are the only you that exists. And I feel like it would be such a waste to not have a great relationship with yourself. Not to be like nihilistic or anything, but it's like you could die any day. You can literally go out on the streets and probably be stabbed by someone tomorrow. And you'll never know. And you, you want to think back in your life like, did I live a fulfilling life up until this very moment? And I guess this is probably a, a better glimpse into what goes on in my head. And hopefully you can find some resonance in whatever I'm sharing because that's really all I want to cultivate on this channel. That aside, I can't wait for the weekend. Um, I do have two birthdays <laughs> that I will be celebrating on the weekend. One it will be my nephews and another one will be my best friends. I'm really excited. Happy birthday!